Big K Cup Series 60 and earlier in the year I made a video saying that the NVIDIA Maxwell series would be announced or would be released in Q1 of 2014 and in a way we did see that happen. I, I believe the title of the video was the GeForce 800 series to be more exact. So when I said 800 series I was actually referring to Maxwell. However, uh, we ran into a few problems. Now, firstly, technically, I wasn't really wrong because they came out with what? The 750 and the 750 Ti, which are both Maxwell based cards. However, they are on the 28 nanometer process, which leads me to this video and what's actually going on with TSMC, AMD, and Nvidia. Now, at the moment, TSMC is having some serious problems with the 20 nanometer process. At they just they don't know it's just they're running into massive problems they don't know what to do and pretty much it's forced Nvidia well firstly AMD didn't even plan on releasing 20 nanometer cards this year anyway but it's pretty much forced Nvidia to rethink whether they'll uh, um use the 860 860 Ti 870 880 or the new high end Maxwell cards. They don't know whether they should use it on either 28 nanometer and just use what they've got now or they're gonna have to wait it out because at the moment it's taking TSMC a long time and at the moment really at the end of the year it is looking like the best hope it's looking like the best time for 20 nanometer uh, cards to be coming out because it's just it's not ready yet that's the bottom line TSMC don't have the chips ready for Nvidia to release it yet so now who knows? I mean, what if Nvidia end up releasing 860, 870, 880, or on a 28 nanometer process? I mean, sure, you've still got Maxwell architecture, you know, the power savings. However, when you release it on a smaller um, process, you know, you get you get better power, better energy efficiency. You know, it's stuff that you want. However, uh, it's just they've run into they've just been at roadblock after roadblock after roadblock. I mean, it's kind of unfortunate. It would have been epic to see Maxwell on 20 nanometer. Um, however, it looks like we just won't see it for a while. Um, maybe uh, it's looking like it's gonna. Um, they're gonna be coming at the end of the year, unless, of course, as I said before, Nvidia just released the uh, high-end cards on the 28 nanometer process. If they do do that, I know a lot of people will be upset. However, do they really have a choice? I mean, they're honestly just this year. What if this is April now, close to May? I think the only cards they've announced are or released are the 750, 750 Ti, and you're about to announce or release the uh, Titan Z, which is, as I said in another video, the most ridiculous priced card I've ever seen. Well, maybe not ever seen, but it's very, really, really bad. But anyway. 20 nanometer Maxwell, oh, just not coming yet, guys. Not coming just yet. However, we just got to wait, got to wait it out and see. It look, it looks like 2015 is gonna be the big year for AMD, Nvidia, and Intel. I mean, you have AMD 2015. I believe 2015 is the return of FX series processors. I can't wait for that. AMD said that those series of CPUs aren't dead yet, so they should be coming, and AMD will be announcing and releasing their 20 nanometer GPUs, and I'm sure Nvidia and Intel will have something up their sleeves as well. So anyway guys, 2014 it's looking like a kind of transition phase, in an awkward time, TSMC isn't ready yet, Nvidia and AMD are ready, however, they just can't do anything just yet, and we're just gonna have to wait. So thank you guys for watching, I hope you enjoyed. And I'll see you guys later.